I'm Tracy Andrada, and this is my pawn shop. I work here with my best friend, Gretchen Williams. Everything in here has a story and a price. One thing I've learned after being in the business for many years, you never know what's going to come through that door. Hi, I'm Sasha Parks. This is my artifact I found in my parents' house. I'm looking to get about $120. Good afternoon. How can I help you today? Well, I was cleaning out my parents' house and I came across a sleeve advertisement. I was wondering how much I could get for it. Excellent. Can I have a look? Yeah, no problem. Wow. By the looks of it, this appears to be an advertisement from a newspaper about a sleeve auction. I'm guessing this to be from about the mid-1700s. Slave advertisements were used to announce slave auctions and to entice slave owners to buy slaves. Slave advertisements usually had only the name of the sellers, where the slaves came from, the date of the auction, and the location of where the auction was taking place. Slaves would be washed and greased to make them look healthier and stronger so bidders would thus pay more for them. Before going on to the auction box, the bidders would take close inspection by poking them, prodding them, and making them open their mouths. Families would be separated because there were different auctions for the men, the women, and the children. Companies that participated in the auctioning of slaves kept very detailed documents in which listed the names of the investors, the amount of slaves, the expenses, and the final products. So, how much money were you expecting from this? Well, since it's so old and it's an artifact from our history, I thought I was about going to get at least $120 for it. I have to call in an expert to verify its authenticity and estimate its worth. Is that alright with you? No, it's fine with me. Hey, Gretchen, I have a customer here for you. Can you come in? Oh, 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 okay, okay. Oh, I'll be right there, okay. Oh, hey. So, what are you looking at today? Well, a customer of mine has brought in uh, a slave auction advertisement that he found in his parents' basement. Eh, okay, let's have a look. This specific slave advertisement was from June 17, 1756, and was a part of South Carolina Gazette. This advertisement publicized a slave auction being conducted by Austin and Lawrence Company. These slaves were taken from Sierra Leone and were sold in this auction. The ship that brought these slaves to America was a hare, and its captain was Captain Caleb Godfrey. Of the 88 slaves that were brought to America by the hare, the only one that made it to the auction were 28 men, 13 women, 13 boys, and 9 girls. Thus, there were 15 slaves that died on the voyage to America, and the remaining 63 slaves were sold for a total profit of 8,760 pounds, minus the tax commissions, and the miscellaneous expenses. So Gretchen, what is your overall opinion about this artifact? Well, I can assure that this is an authentic slave advertisement due to the ink, the font, the font size, and the quality of the paper. These type of document can go up to about $50, however it's not in great condition, so I'm estimating this to be worth about $25 to $30. Yeah. Well, thanks for the help. Oh, no problem anytime. Well, I really want this artifact, but I don't want to give it for that much money, so I'll try and negotiate with him. Well, Sasha, my expert has confirmed that this is in fact a real safe advertisement. Oh, it's just great news. But in the condition that it's in, I'll give you $15 for it. Whoa, I was, I was expecting a lot more than that. Um, can I at least get 30 Well, $20 is the best I can do for you. Make it 23, and you got yourself a deal, sir. Deal. 20, 21, 22, 23. Here you go. Perfect. Thank you. It's been a pleasure doing business. Same.